Welcome to this week's episode of Best Fit TV and look who's here. It's Ben Coomer in the flesh this week. Thanks for coming on board, mate. Exciting to be here. The big question the viewers have got though, what is on this week's show? On this week's show, I'll be off to do some ninja training. You, my friend, are telling us all about calorie counting. We've got another athlete for the Train With feature. You're going off to sample Nina and Marco's cooking and Ruth is halfway through her transformation. So you've done a transformation for Best It magazine a few months mm -hmm. back. 12 weeks of pain, was it? 12 weeks of pain, not quite. Uh, I always like to, in my work as a coach, mm -hmm. show people what is possible with their diet mm -hmm. and their training and the kind of time frame. So yeah. three months, I documented what I was eating, why I was eating mm -hmm. it, the training that I was doing, and importantly, the mindset yeah. and the diet, because I want people to see that there is a lot that is possible with the human body. True. And what was the hardest part? I think like anyone, you want to get straight back to normal. Yeah. The problem most people have is they go way past normal mm. and they put the weight back on. So you've got to know how to sensibly go back to what is your maintenance yeah. and try and maintain the hard work mm. that you've just done yeah. to get down to a lower body weight. Yeah. And consistency. Yeah. That's always key. Consistency is key. The weekends can trip mm. people up, social events, eating out, all that kind of stuff. So you have to know how mm. to manage that effectively on a yeah. diet. And have you ever done ninja training? No. No. Well, I got sent over to Manchester to do exactly that. I thought it was going to be fun. It wasn't. Well, it was a little bit of fun, but I say that because afterwards my arms are killing me. Proper upper body workout. Come and see how I got on. So we're at Total Ninja Manchester, the ninja training facility. You've just seen me have a go at the beginner's course, which is quite a challenge in itself. We've got Alex, I've dragged her along because I couldn't even manage this one. What's this one called? Uh, I call this the rotating cylinders, others call it the black bags. Yeah. Whatever you like, it's a bit of a mess. Show us how it's done then. Okie doke. I just can get my head around this. All right, so first thing you do is jump up onto the first rotating bag as high as you can. Lock your legs in nice and tight. So you've got this ankle lock that's gonna hold you in place. Next yeah. thing you want to do, if you feel comfortable, is let go. Lean back with your arms, make sure the weight's resting on your shoulder, pull in nice and tight, kick off, legs locked in again, big sit up, and there you go, have some practice. I really struggled at that, I couldn't get my head around it. So that was the beginner's course. Yeah. Right here we've got the advanced course. How similar is it to a Ninja Ori on TV? Uh, it's a piece of cake in comparison. Yeah? Yeah. So how many obstacles are we facing? We've got eight obstacles on the advanced course. They're all pretty hard, but yeah. I'm willing to see how you do. What do you reckon? Eight At out least, of eight? Mm, bit ambitious. Maybe five? Five? What do you think, guys? Two. Two. Uh, Two. Three. And three. <laughs> I'll play safe. I'm going to go for six, okay? Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. of little faith I did at least six of them perfectly and that was the advanced course it's a really good workout proper upper body strength we needed for them and I'm finished now I could try the pro course I could do but I'm not a show-off <laughs> we've got Isaac Isaac used to be a gymnast for 20 years and uh, he loves coming to this place don't you yep what's so great about it it's just a good fun workout it's just a general all body workout and it's more fun and more entertaining than the gym yeah yeah and I've heard you're pretty good at this well, I'll give it, give it my best shot. Yeah, well, there's no stopping and starting. The camera's <laughs> going to follow you, and yep. uh, I'm going to time you. Are you ready? Yeah. Isaac's going to take on the pro course. Let's see how it's done. Awesome mate, that's awesome. Yeah. I had no chance of that. 
But that's that's really, what's the hardest one? The, um, the salmon ladder. Yeah. And uh, I tried to help you out at the end, but, <laughs> but it's, a, it's a tough one. Lay it down, but <laughs> out of all of this, for me, the toughest, toughest thing, the toughest of all, is his bum. <laughs> <laughs> Winter in there, you're never getting out. That was a lot of fun today. See what we get up to next week. Hi guys, it's week five of Roof's Transformation and um, Roof has been a naughty girl. Do you want to tell us what you've been up to? <laughs> um, I've had a little bit of a weekend off, um, possibly uh, lots of drinks and maybe a whole pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Whoops. it's fine, do you know what, it's real life. It was only a matter of time before we slipped up a little bit. So, it's absolutely fine. Roof's had a little bit of a weekend this weekend. We just need to get back on track now. So what we're going to do this week um, we decided we're going to get Roof in a minute onto the shape watch just to see what our results are. The chances are we might not have seen that many results this week. So what we're going to do is add in a couple of sessions in terms of high intensity just to claw it back a little bit. Um, but like I said, we're going to get Roof on the shape watch, see what our stats are. Um, how have you found the shape watch so far? Um, really good. Um, it's it's helped me just to to see the I guess like the muscle and the fat percentage. Uh, and also like because I think you get a little bit caught up on weight sometimes so I think that was one of the things that I found yeah. really useful and yeah. to keep me I guess obviously I've had a bad weekend but that has helped me to like see like the real yeah. you know results so. absolutely so on the shape watch what we're doing is tracking healthy weight so we need to ensure yeah. that the mass that we've lost is healthy mass so we want to keep that muscle mass high reduce that body fat percentage down so it's not just a weight loss transformation it's about making sure the roof is fitter faster healthier and a body yeah. composition has improved and the shape watch has been great for that just to ensure those regular check-ins yeah. so we're going to jump on in a minute and see what results we get from that and then, like I said, this week, what we're going to do is add the two extra high intensity interval training sessions. So we're not going to tweak your food this week. OK, so same okay. food, same amount of calories. We're going to keep that macronutrient split that I gave okay. you. But what we're going to do is just add those extra sessions. And that's just going to bring Ruth back on track this week and make sure that we continue forward onto that transformation. How does that sound? Sounds, sounds better than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so Ruth's hit session this week that we're going to introduce is a five station circuit. On each station we're going to do 60 seconds work, which you're going to repeat that for five minutes and then we've got a minute and a half rest and we're going to do three rounds in total. So it's 15 minutes work with rest in between. First exercise, we're going to do a minute prowler push. So prowler push sled down a 10 meter track, backwards and forwards for 60 seconds. The next one we're going to do is single arm battle rope. So we're going to do that, alternating arms for 60 seconds, nice and quick. Third exercise, we're going to do a 60 kilogram tire flip. One flip, moving around the other side and flip again. Next exercise we're going to do is a 16 kilogram kettlebell swing, making sure that the swing comes all the way to head height and back down again. Nice straight back and swinging from the hips. Last exercise in the circuit is a slam ball burpee. So using a 10 kilo slam ball, slamming down as hard as we can, squatting down, picking the ball up, and burpee out. I'm gonna repeat that. So, definitely a hard workout today. Out of breath. Um, I've got to say that I enjoyed my pizza, but not so much that workout. I've been absolutely struggling first, first part of this week. So I've been drinking some of the C4 pre-workout, which is helping me through these gruelling training sessions. Obviously, it just gives you the kick like that you need especially after being hung over on the weekend. Definitely a good Monday morning drink. Um, but yeah, just like killing these workouts, seeing results, and I'm just raring to go, so excited for the next few weeks. Now, talking of transformations, Ruth is doing great mm -hmm. on her transformation. Despite the little blip, we've got the weekend, you know, yeah. it's hard for people to navigate. Faris, what's your kind of strategy? If you know you're going out for a big meal at the weekend, what do you do to try and, I suppose, minimise the damage? If you're going out for a big meal that particular day, if it's a Saturday, I try and get some extra exercise in on the Saturday, whether it's just an extra dog walk. And for the meal itself, I'll ditch the dessert, make sure I have a bit of a salad day starter, and load up on the veggies instead, rather than just going for a big gore fest of calories. 
Can you? Yeah, I think being active is a, is mm. a big thing for me. Um, I just try and eat lighter during the day. Mm. So breakfast, lunch, I'll try and keep it really nice and light, quite lean. And then when I know I'm going out for dinner, I've got a lot more room for manoeuvre. Yeah. I've got a lot more room in mm. the tank. And that's quite, it's kind of what almost grandma would do. She'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm going out for dinner tonight. I'll have a light breakfast mm. and I'll have a light lunch. It yeah. kind of almost seems common sense, mm. but we don't do it anymore. But with your nutrition, you need to plan. If you want a certain outcome, you need to plan for it. Right, what's next? What's next? Well, look at you, since you're here, we gave you some treats to do, and um, it's your journey to Nima Marcos to enjoy some Italian cooking. Oh yes, I love Italian cooking. We are back in the kitchen and it's time to cook some more healthy food. I'm with Nina and Marco. We're going to be cooking some fish and some healthy food. It's ladies first, so we don't need Marco at the moment, so we'll get him oh, back. I feel very special. <laughs> you are very special. Now tell me, what are we cooking today? Today a very healthy salad. It's a Mediterranean salad. We can say Italian salad as well. So we've got all the ingredients that we need is rocket salad. We've got spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, and we've got walnuts. And a special thing we're going to add is fruit. OK, we're going to start with our salad. We've got the salad, rocket salad, and spinach. Yep. The apple, I'm going to cut it later. Otherwise, you don't want it to go yellow or, you know, of course. green. OK. OK, I'm going to cut some goat cheese. So tell me what it means to you to be healthy. Why do you cook good food? Um, to be honest, I've been always healthy and I just feel healthy since I'm eating healthy. And because I'm an artist, I'm a DJ and a singer, so I'm all the time on stage and I have to have the full um, health in a way to stay on singing or DJing. So I just found myself very, um, to stay healthy. How are we dressing this salad? You've rolled the goat's cheese here. What's happening with the salad here? Okay, I've got the goat cheese here with the bread crumb and then the dressing for the rocket salad and the spinach. I'm gonna put some salt on it. Olive oil with truffle. Sounds posh. Yes, so it's just gonna give you a little bit a little of, bit of uh, flavor. Exactly. Okay. There you go, the glazed, the balsamic. It gives a bit sweetness to the, uh, to the salad. Some sun-dried tomato. You can't miss that in your salad, can you? I'm a big fan of sun-dried sun tomato. There's a few things that you want in your fridge that you know that you can rely on to make a dish taste good. So let's finish off the last bit of the salad. Let's get that yeah. apple in there. It's I mean, looking a little waiting, lonely. Yeah, we're just waiting for the goat cheese to grill and it's finished, but I'm going to cut the apple now. So the goat's finished. cheese, how long have we cooked that for? I think three minutes each okay. side. So cool. Cool, so this okay. is ready to go in. This is ready, I'm going to put that at last. So I'm okay. going to serve this in this here. This is looking way prettier than I would cook at home. Oh, here you go. It's um, important how it looks, because uh, first I think the eyes and then it's what we eat, isn't it? <laughs> the, the taste. And then we've got our goat cheese. Goat cheese. Nice and crispy and golden, ready. You can pour that on top nicely. That looks very Moorish. It's and everyone nice. loves goat cheese. Oh, I love every kind of cheese, but my favorite is goat cheese and feta cheese. <sighs> yep. So that is it for the salad. Let's get on to the fish. That means we need Marco back in the room. Yes. <laughs> so, we have a salad done, now we need some fish. Marco. Here we go. I'm starting again. I mean, basically, you kicked me out before, right? So I'm back again. Ladies first. That's what we say. I agree with you. Now, what I'm doing, I'm going to lay the sea bus into the aluminium foil. To cut some um, cherry tomato in the half. Here we go. So when this cooks with the cherry tomato sort of reduced down? It will make it reduced down mm. because when you close the envelope, that is, it's going to become like a, a steamy room. Yep. So everything is going to get juicy and fresh. I will cut some lemon. Basically, I'll cut three rings or four rings. The lemon is very small because it's small. I will put four rings of lemon. I will put some Italian herbs on top. Now, I got the red onion. You know, this is the trick. Let me cut the onion. I would close the envelope, you know. 
So now what we gotta do is just put on top of the pan. Very simple. Right, it's been sizzling away. It's time to serve up. Marco, let's look what uh, we've got. El pranzo servido. You can see, as you see, the envelope became a balloon. So we're gonna position the dish next to the salad. And the only thing we need to do, as the magic will come, we cut in half, we open it up. Oh. Oh, mamma mia, what a flavor. Right, all that is left to do is taste the fish. Well, and the whole dish, let's go. I am very excited. This smells incredible, like the pesto, the vegetables, the tomatoes have simmered down nicely. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. I'd definitely cook that at home. It's really, really good. Mm. Yep. And you seasoned it well. You can never forget good cracker seasoning. Uh, we better get the lady back here. Nina, come and join us so we can try the salad. I really want to try this salad because I've been staring at it for the last 10 minutes. Mm. We should probably wrap up, mainly so I can finish uh, eating. Nina, Marco, thank yes. you very much for an incredible meal. If you would like to see your recipe on Best Fit TV, then go to bestfittv.co.uk or Best Fit Magazine on social media, and you could be in the kitchen with us. Until next week, goodbye. For this week's Train With Session, I'm joined by Mick Learmoth, pro boxer. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, not bad. Good. You've been boxing since you was a young lad, yeah? Yeah. How uh, many years? Started pretty young, um, down at Unslop Boys Club. Yeah. yeah I had uh, like a couple of exhibition fights when I was young, like you say, 12, 13. Um, was you any good? I was all right. Yeah. Um, I'd like to, well, I'd like to think I were all right, you know. Um, they, they always said I said I, I did well. So yeah. I asked because then you went on and had a successful rugby career playing for um, Huddersfield Rugby League. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, um, that again, great club. Mm. Um, loved that club. Yeah, yeah, that was a good experience, mm. you know. Um, but that's why I had to put boxing on the back step, mm. you know, because that was obviously my, my full time job then. Yeah. So. Uh, boxing went a bit on the back burner. So you had a good innings at Huddersfield, yeah? Yep. Four, four years playing professional and then what cut that short? Um, I was doing a, a strength test mm. um, and well, you do a strength test at the beginning of pre-season, end of pre-season to see where you've come. I was bench pressing and I did one rep to second rep yeah. on my third rep. I, I went to press and my, my chest completely snapped. So if that put you out of rugby, I'd take it for the safety, you couldn't go back. How can you do boxing, which is still, you're going to get lots of impact? Well, obviously, as you know, boxing is, you know, you, you're fighting, aren't you? So, but the boxing side, you don't seem to get much impact on the chest. Do you mm. know what I mean, you might get the odd, the odd shot that, like, you can, you can deflect from your face and it might catch your chest. But I know it's, a, it's another physical sport, mm. but it sort of, you know what I mean, takes a bit of the effect away from the yeah. chest. And at the moment, you're six wins in, no defeats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's next? Um, May 5th, mm. um, Bank Holiday Sunday, I believe it is. We're in gym mm. constantly, so it, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to yeah. it. Maybe it should be a good yeah. camp. So you're going to show us all uh, five key exercises um, that we can all take on board that help you with your training. Yep. What you got in store for us? Um, well, like you say, a few exercises, and you, you know, it's, hopefully it'll adapt to everybody. Not everyone mm. can go to a gym where it's got the bags, the pads, the gloves. Mm. Um, so hopefully I'll show you a few things okay. that'll... Uh, you know, is it going to be anything like a Rocky movie? Um, hopefully not. There's no <laughs> stairs about, so hopefully not. Yeah. Great, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Here we go then, exercise number one. It's ab slam balls. Yeah, so basically all it is is uh, I'm laying on my back. Um, obviously yourself, you'll mm. be you'll be giving me the, the slams and all that does is it um, obviously conditions your abs, you know, yeah. it's easier to get rid of your fat cells and it's uh, with the slams, it's it's conditioning you to take them body shots, Yeah. you know, obviously I'll be getting some in the mm. side, some in the front. So I'm not going to get hit, am I? I'm... Uh, well, we'll give you a little go, that's it, no. We'll see, come on then. <laughs> go for it. That was nothing for you, wasn't no, it? it's all right. I'm like, you know, work out, right. and you're just laughing it off. <laughs> yeah? Go on then. I do it plenty of times, so. Not looking forward to this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, that'll do, mate. <laughs> okay, exercise number two, hopefully a little bit less painful on me. It's not hammer time, it's hammer tire. Yeah, so what we've got is uh, we've got a hammer and a tire. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend, come down and hit the tire. And all that's doing is it's, uh, it's engaging your core. And obviously with boxing, um, you've got plenty of, plenty of hip movement in your shots. So that's just gonna extend that, come down, engage your core again, hopefully bring a bit more power to. Well, that's great. If I yep. had a bad day at work, he's coming to do some of them. That'll really get it out of you. Yep. Brilliant stuff. Moving on, exercise number three. You can have a go at this one. It's a battle rope sidestep. So, obviously, as you know, with boxing, there's a, a lot of footwork. Um, and doing your footwork while under fatigue. Well, you start to feel it on your legs, don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah. Good one, that. Yeah. You could try that. Next thing you get the battle ropes, just do some sides. And then you get your heart rate going, your arms, and your legs. Yeah. 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 It's great, is that? It is. Yes. Good. Exercise number four, the boxing med ball throw. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a med, med ball. We're going to have it, obviously, in your hand. Sort of in a boxing stance, just to over-exaggerate your shot, your rotation. Um, but obviously, you're going to have that, that weight there as well. So you're going to, going to introduce a little bit of power. Exercise number five is the competing tyre push with this bad boy. Yeah, so what we've got, as simple as it says, really a, a tyre push. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in a boxing stance and it's uh, you're competing against each other, so you're gonna really try and try and push mm. each other. And uh, it's basically until, until someone mm. drops the tyre. Last man standing. Last man standing. Yeah. Ah. Oh. That's me done. I'll take that. I'll let you have that one. The guy's a machine, he'll keep going on for hours. Brilliant, brilliant. Five great workouts you can take to your own gym environment. So thanks a lot, Mick. That was awesome. And all the best. Watch this guy, support him. Fifth of May, he's going to bring another win home. Okay. Cheers. Now it's a lovely day, I'm sat outside, I've just eaten my lunch and I'm gonna put my lunch into my calorie tracking app. Now this is a very popular way to track your nutrition, to be aware of what you're eating. But in my experience as a nutritionist, there's a lot of people that are struggling to break away from calorie counting. It's causing a certain amount of anxiety because we're worried that if we don't put something in the app, we don't know how many calories it contains, we can't eat it. Now this is of course a problem. What happens when you're going away or you don't have your phone or you simply want to no longer count calories? Now the important thing we need to appreciate is anything that we do in health and fitness is to acquire knowledge. So if I go to track my calorie intake in my phone, I'm doing this to learn more about food. It's not just to perform the action of tracking the food. So with a lot of my clients, they might be using an app and they're tracking the food, but they're not realizing, oh, I've just entered a banana into my app and I can see that it contains 100 calories. This is what we want to be doing. If we're going through a calorie tracking process, which I recommend because it's a process of education, you wanna be aware and you want to pay attention when you're entering foods. So if you go for a weekend away, you're eating a meal, out you can then start to look at food and say do you know what just looking at this meal I can see that there's maybe around 700 calories in this meal because I've gone through a process of calorie tracking I'm now empowered I know more about food and I can start to make decisions on my calorie intake without the need of my mobile phone or a calorie tracking app so while there is great value in being aware of the calories you're taking on board don't let it cause you anxiety. Learn from the process of actually counting calories so that when you don't have the calorie counting app, you know what you're eating and you know that you are on track with your goals. There you go. Great advice always from Ben. And what's coming up in next week's feature? I'm going to be talking about coffee, which is everyone's favourite yes. drink. I love coffee. Do I get to drink lots? No, I do. Well, it's been great having you this week. 
Next week we have got, as well as Ben, we've got Ruth six weeks in. Another athlete will be training with us, giving us a rundown of how they keep fit. We'll be in one of your homes doing cooking and I'll be doing the out and about, getting fit and active, having fun at the same time. Thanks for joining us this week, Ben. You've done a fantastic job. Don't be taking my job, but you are welcome to come back in a few weeks' time. Ah, oh, thank you. And for all you lot watching at home, do engage with us on social media, mm -hmm. Best Fit Magazine. Until next week, goodbye. See you then.